guys as you can see the christmas tree right behind me and my pajama uh, christmas pajamas um i'm gonna be doing this vlog over a few days so uh please bear with me and this is my gift to november so as you are all aware that there are numerous amounts of vlogs out there for um, the hashtag gift to November 23. Um, I will put a list of um, who's donated things for them and the rules as well for the um, gift to November challenge. Um, now there are only um, unfortunately two days left for you to get your um, your entries in on Instagram and you've got to tag um, Alison from So Like Dotte or Adam from Adam Sews or both of them from um, for, for, for your entries for Gift to November. So anyway, as I was saying, um, today is my challenge and to, excuse me if I'm looking down, it's just that I've got my notes here. Uh, excuse me so today you've got myself and selena may from um i'm not sure which one she's got she's just like it just says selena may uh yesterday you would have had um adam from adam sews and cynthia um lopez from creative mama of three yesterday and today tomorrow you'll have steph Patterned, I am prob sorry if I uh, patterned in, that's it, patterned in, if I've spelled uh, if I've pronounced it wrong from Knots and Needles and Mandy from Make It So. Now, um, I'm sure all of the um vlogs uh, have been absolutely amazing. Um, I've particularly, particularly kept an interest in what's going on for. Um, inspirations for myself and uh, my family so yeah I'll get right into it as to what I've been creating so I've been creating these little gift things for the tree now I've made these handmade them myself and uh, just cut round the just lined around the initials on some um, foam wadding and as you can see at the back there, I've gone round with some iron on a pen and I've put this on for it. So I hand, I hand sewn that on it. It's not very good hand sewing actually, if you can see it, sorry. It's not very good hand sewing, but it's for the children and um, that one's for my daughter Katie to put on the tree at home and this one is for my granddaughter Amelia who will be helping me with my advent calendar that arrived the other day I'll tell you about that in a minute so I've made those and I've also made these stars and now these are from fabric and I will be adding um, this on as well to these so they can go on the tree as well um i also made a bauble made of fabric now as you can see there's a gap around the edges here and that's for some um but some tape to go around it <coughs> uh some ribbon sorry now I've run out of this this ribbon, but I think I need a little bit bigger anyway. So I'll have to fetch that at some point today so the children can have them for Friday so they can put them on their trees. And also um, the baubles, the baubles were like that at first. And now, as you can see, they're like that. And all they are are four by four three and a half by three and a half squares and you fold them into half and then fold them in half again 
and it, it makes the pattern so that's what that was and then you put them on like a triangle angle so anyway the, the next one is this one now this one here is being gifted to my mother and father-in-law and this one here is going to be um uh it's going to be similar to this but it goes on an angle like so that the the triangles come out so to speak so say say if this was a triangle the triangle would come out just like that and it would look like that all the way around the tree so it looks like a tree so i'm going to make that at some point this week for them now the ball ball pattern is this one and it's called the patchwork ball ball and it's by here we go living living in loveliness.com oh sorry you couldn't see that then i don't think yeah, it's at the bottom it's actually at the bottom here i am sorry i you couldn't see that then living in loveliness from and the other one for some of friends i'm going to sew up is this one a lovely patchwork pink cushion and this is by the quilters um is it the oh god quilters trading post.com now i have quite a lot of these and they are very good so that's that one and i thought also excuse me i've dropped one of my bubbles and there's this as well that my neighbor made for my daughter now she said it was too nice to take to university with her so she wants it in a room with the tree behind me so and it's like that on the other side now it's just a, a cane at the bottom just to hold it down and then you attach each one together each triangle together and all they are is like squares in the half triangle half triangles and then you go that way and it's a it's a square sort of thing so yeah that's that one um my neighbor and made this one for uh katie so she doesn't want to take it to university i've had to take it off a wall actually because she has it on this side here um and because she dresses her room up katie does for christmas as you can see with the tray so yeah that's those now my other gifts to november are um will be will come up in a minute i'm just gonna go and i'll get back to you hi i'm back again um sorry different day sorry um I, I, as i said i've been trying to film these over a few days um so what I'm, i was going to discuss next was i'm going to try I'll, I'll show you what they're going to be um they're pouches for my daughter-in-law so so if you're my my family please switch off now you're not allowed to watch this because these are your gifts so anyway my daughter-in-laws are going to get, be getting three makeup pouches like I made my daughter Katie. So I'll show you a picture of what they're going to be like. And my sons are also going to be getting um, pouches for their toiletries that they use um, for the shower or going away anywhere. So um, yeah, that's for those. And my husband, I've decided I am going to make these. This because he's been wanting one and um he he does need one but i do need to purchase some um a blanket or something like that um from i have seen one from needles so i'll show you that one now it's in there um and there are also some things from needles that i thought might be might be good hold on a moment so i'm going to show you a picture of some um ball balls that you can paint yourself from needles um that's those 
and also there are some baskets here which I'll show you again uh, in Lidl's and they were um, log baskets they were $12.99 but I thought with these you could put like a hamper of things in um, like um, makeup or um, like a food hamper or anything like that would be a good idea um, for anybody and the bauble make your own paint your own baubles are $4.99 from um, Lidl's now the blanket I'm going to show you now is actually um, it's, it's a good idea for anything that you can make like a jumper or a hoodie or um, a snood or anything like that you could make out of this blanket now this blanket was $7.99 I'll show it you now and this is what I'm going to make my husband's um, dressing gown from uh, I might need to buy two because I don't think one is going to be big enough but there you go so that that's for my husband now for Katie I've decided that I'm going to make her some pajamas and the top half is going to be out of oh that's very bright isn't it the top half is going to be out of this jersey plain white jersey and the bottom will be the Juno bottoms I'm going to make the Frankie baseball tee for her top out of that and the buttons will be out of this um this fabric here and this fabric i bought from um, bombay fabrics um the jersey i got from lily fabrics so bombay fabrics uh, do like uh, bundles of things which are very good um and they do them a lot at the shows which is what i bought that from so that's that's for Katie and I've also finished making her quilt. Um, I'll put a picture in of her quilt. Um, I've just got to add the binding around it and I've well I've, I've clipped it. Yeah I'll, I'll show you hold on. Now this is Katie's quilt. Um, she's fully aware of what it looks like so it's no surprise. So that's one square that has been done and this is the other one this is the white one so all I've, I've clipped the binding round all i've got to do now is sew it on and um sew the backing by hand so it will look something like this excuse me that was the dog i promise you so it will look something like this at the end of it all the way round so yes um so that's for katie and um for my grandkids i will be making um some um christmas bags um as uh i thought to myself i thought well you know can't leave the kids out because the kids it, christmas is about the kids after all so um all my grandchildren will be getting um some christmas bags and they'll be about this big so that they're just like tote bags and they'll have little items in like a book and stuff like that i might even if i get time make a um a book pillow which is a good idea for them and uh yeah so i'm just grateful that um i have grandchildren to make for now my happy mail came um when did that come I think my happy mail came Saturday morning, but I didn't want to show it you because I thought, well, I don't know if everybody else has had theirs. So excuse me, my my screen seems to be wobbling a little bit. I think it might be me on the table. Yes, it is me on the table. So anyway, so my pink door one came and as you can see, I've not opened it. It is still sealed. I won't open it until the first. Um, my granddaughter Amelia does want to help me uh, open that one uh, some days, but as I believe there are um, only twelve days of Vlogmas this year with that, and I will, I will get um, inform you of that on Friday, included in my Friday shows. 
so anyway i'll get back to you um soon i hope you all have a lovely christmas and i hope i've given you some inspiration as to what i'm going to be making so um every all the pictures that need to be put in should be put in by now if not i'll put them in at the end and um yeah as i said happy christmas and happy december because my birthday is in december and i love it <laughs> I, d I used to, I didn't used to like it because my mum's birthday was the day before mine. But yes, I'm starting to get to like it now. And um, since my mum's passed away, I didn't really like enjoy my birthday. But I am starting to get there now. So yeah, anyway, 14 years later, it does help. So anyway, I hope you all have a happy Christmas. See you soon.